my name is Phil Nisbet and I'm one of the co-founders of World Insurance. My title is Director of Mergers and Acquisitions. I work in a five-person M&A team that includes uh, Rich Eknoy and the CEO. So we're going to do about 40 or 50 acquisitions this year. Uh, I've been working at World Insurance since the founding, 10 years ago. And before that I was in, uh, in banking. I worked at Citibank and Barclays for 20 years. When we started 10 years ago, we had you know, two, or two of our founding partners were producer agency owners, and then we had two people in the office, including me, who were not insurance people and were helping out with the paperwork and the administration so that they could sell. And it worked really good then, and they grew their book like five times over, over, the, over the last 10 years because they were freed up to produce, and then they were supported by staff, and we've been following that model ever since. One of the reasons they chose us is because they can have a meaningful role here. If you go to a larger firm, it's 10 times our size, there's not as many open positions in terms of being head of a product or head of a region, and uh, you can also be a uh, material equity holder here too. So um, us being younger and smaller, you know, there's probably more upside in the equity as well. Well, it's not everybody wants to, to run something, so, so some people want to relieve themselves of running the, their, their agency and just focus on production. So we, we, we allow and support that. Some people do want to have a larger role and uh, run a region or run a product and we still have a lot of open slots for that. And some people just want to be left alone and, and, and do their own thing, but we try to encourage people to tell us what they really want to do. Today, a majority of people we meet have not heard of World. As we do get bigger, there is going to be some value to a common brand and the, the secret to, to tapping into that is eventually converting your name over to the world name. We do make it flexible, um, but what we found is that there's, there's more value in moving over for most people uh, within a year or so than, than staying with a, a co-branded situation. We usually get the uh, IT integration done within 90 days of the closing, so we do it right away. But once you get that behind you, that's the secret to us being able to take over a lot of the administrative activities. We feel like it's worth the effort. It drives organic growth and it, and it makes people's jobs better. The most sought after agency owners are the, are the ones that are most successful and they don't need to sell. That's where we uh, succeed and excel and is attracting those types because they can be important here. And uh, it's an entrepreneurial culture and they can come here and share the resources, but they also have a lot of flexibility in, in what they do going forward, whether it's leading a product or a geographic region or working on acquisitions or just selling other products that we have or, or just you know, deepening their relationships in their own territory. So we're not so big that, that, that you have to follow a certain path here um, and, you, and you have access to everybody. You have access to the entire management team, all the product leaders, the geography leaders. It's, it's, it's a great uh, cooperative environment. Typically we get take shares as part of the consideration for the purchase price. Same shares that we all own and uh, you, you work side by side with us. So it's, it's a very different environment than selling out. We do have a pretty broad shareholder base even though Charles Bank, the private equity investor, owns 60% of the company. We are 40% owned by employees, and we have over 300 employee shareholders. And they've gotten their shares either by selling their agency to us um, or by investing. We do at least an annual employee offering to top performers. since the same shares that, that Charles Bank has, so when they exit, we'll be able to sell our shares uh, if we want to. Uh, there, there is a uh, popular misconception when you have a private equity majority investor is that you're building something to flip it. Uh, it's, it's totally not true. Uh, 10 of the 10 largest acquirers in, in the insurance broker space are private equity owned. Now the private equity firms themselves, because they're limited life vehicles, they manage funds, they typically only stay in for about five years. So the fact that they stay in five years leads people to believe that you're gonna get sold to a big national broker or something like that, but that's not our strategy. When our current private equity investor wants to uh, exit and, and, and receive their proceeds, our 300 plus employee shareholders will also have the right to sell some of their shares at the same price, and then we'll find another capital partner. It's probably gonna be another private equity firm, another five-year plan, so it's a sustainable business model, something that we can continue to do for, your, for, for many years to come.